I'm Dr. Safiya Mohammed, and I've had the privilege to work alongside UNFPA in a number of projects, uh, which I will talk about later on. Um, at present, uh, from a philanthropic aspect, I'm the Education Chair to National Muslim Women's Organization, and hold another hat, the Ambassador for Habitat for Humanity and a member of the Medical Associ Association of Trinidad and Tobago. Under the capacity of National Muslim Women's Organization, which is, has been in existence for the past 17 years, my mother being one of the founders of that organization, uh, that particular organization has undertaken a number of uh, roles within the community in charitable functions, charitable organizations, charitable events, in women empowerment, in youth empowerment, in avenues of compassionate care. Uh, our most recent project in light of what's happening in the climate in Trinidad and Tobago and the world, we, uh, we took on some the anti-bullying and we launched an initiative called Faces of Kindness. Faces meaning an acronym Facing Adverse Childhood Experiences and thought that the best way to deal with anti-bullying was the positive approach kindness. Again, through National Muslim, Muslim Women Organization and some of the, my other philanthropic work, I've had the opportunity to represent our country at the International Visitor Leadership Program with the U.S. State, of the US State Department under Hillary Clinton, she was there at the time, where we embarked on an NGO community service delivery program, and that was since 2009. So we've had these partnerships, these multilateral partnerships with the U.S. Embassy, so it was a natural flow to go into the partnership with the UN, UNFPA, UNDP. Uh, some of the other projects that we've done in other organizations this year because we had a huge uh, situation with flooding here in Trinidad, with the national um, disasters across the board, Habitat for Humanity embarked on a massive program to assist and give relief to Dominica where we were able to utilize these networks to bring as much relief that we could utilizing our associations. The partnerships continued very nicely with UNFPA along the lines of health because this is where we now brought in the usage of the youth development programs to bring some sort of uh, assistance when they were developing Youth Connect. And Youth Connect is a very exciting app for our young teenagers, a mobile app for our young people dealing with our sexual reproductive health. We have an alarming number of teenage pregnancies in this country, an alarming lack of awareness and education of what happens within that teenage time and UNFPA came developed this fantastic program this app called Youth Connect where it is a platform of information education peer counseling connecting to not just peer counselors but connecting to medical professions so that they can gain an information in a very private way uh, going forward this app has already been piloted in certain uh, schools and it will be we're hoping that it would be a, a source of information a source a game changer here not just here in this country but across the region going forward as well there's also the utilization of the health aspect uh, another program that i've done before health is a big part of my existence and my being um, and paying attention to the sdg goal three Right, uh, we love to bring greater awareness to the women of our country about their building blocks, their health. Too often we are busy saving the world and not ourselves. So that is a big part of the projects going forward with UNFPA and the other organizations I'm part of. Thank you.